also with the pen, you can use this to convert to text. I can then get the select tool, which is the squiggle, circle, and then if I tap that selection, I get the option to convert, and I can either convert it to text, my default language is English, so that is what it chose to convert to. I can make any corrections if I need to, and if I tap convert selection, my handwriting then becomes the um, text instead. Notice it does keep the color and the size. Again, I can then move that text box if I need to. And then you also have the option to do this with the math equation editor. So again, I'm gonna use the select tool to select. I'm gonna tap and then I'm gonna choose convert. And this time I'm gonna choose math and notice it does the math equation conversion, so then I can have that on the screen as well. Another option with your pen tool is the ability to use, um, to create auto shapes, auto lines, and arrows. If I'm trying to draw a square, if I just draw the square as I normally might with my pen tool, it's not perfect. If I wanted it to be a perfect square, if I draw that square, and then push and hold on the screen when I'm connecting it, make it into a square. Now it's a shape that I can resize and edit um, here. Otherwise with my other square that I drew, I would have to select it and then pinch and drag to be able to resize that square. You can also do this with circles. So I could draw a normal circle, circle, or if I push and hold, it would make it a perfect circle. This also works with lines as well. So if I wanna draw a regular line, if I wanna make sure it's absolutely straight, push and hold, and then I can actually drag it around if I need to. So you could create some good angles here. And then you also have auto arrows. So I'm gonna draw a shape, and at the end I'm gonna draw an arrow and then hold. Notice it made it into a straight line. It doesn't keep that curve. And then if I try to do an actual curved arrow, now I've got an actual curve that I can maneuver. So for graphs and things like that, this would be a great way to get a perfect shape that you can then maneuver and manipulate if you need to. And then with the style option on any of these shapes, you can also come in here and change the thickness and come and change the color option as well if you need to after the fact.